As you were able to see in the previous lectures, uh, our script is now running very smoothly. So what's left to be done there is to make this script run on the background as soon as the computer starts. Which means that uh, the Python program, the script that we built, will run and it will check for the time and then it will do something depending on what time it is. But at the moment, the way we are running this is by uh, opening a command line and then pointing to the script and uh, that command line remains open as the script is running. So probably we don't want that, we don't want to have the, the terminal open there all the time as we do work in our computer. So a, a better solution would be to uh, find a way to run the script on the background. And there exists a solution. It's just that uh, the workaround is different on Windows and on a Mac and Linux. So this lecture is about making the final touch to the program so that we can make it work on Windows to have the Python program run as a process in the background. So for uh, Linux users and Mac users you can safely skip this lecture and go to the next one where you can implement this script as a background process. So yeah, uh, hello Windows user. I'm on Windows 7 here, but the solution should work on other versions of Windows as well. So, how do we make a script run uh, in the background as a process? Well, there's a simple trick you can do on Windows. You know, uh, you have the installation of Python there. Uh, let me go open file location. Um, so, when you're running a program, when you say python and script.py, you're using this python.exe uh, file. So, which is a executable of the Python program. And uh, you use this program to run your file. Now, to run Python files on the background, uh, you want to use pythonw.exe, which is a specific subversion of Python for running Python scripts as a background. And there's a simple trick you can do. Uh, you want to change the extension to pyw. And once you do that, now you can go ahead. So here is the file, which extension I just changed. And what you can do now is just double click this to execute it. And there is no terminal shown, so the script should be running now. And you can verify that in the task manager. So this one here, which you can open, by the way. Right click in here and start task manager and then go to processes and then you should be looking for python uh, for a process named python here and this time i expect this not to be here so python yeah python is not here so you should expect python w.exe to be here and the reason it's not there is that the, the script wasn't able to run because um, we when you double click this you are double clicking it as a user not as an administrator and if you're not executing it as an administrator, you're not being able to access this to modify this host file. Because as you know from the previous lectures, this is a, a protected file by Windows. But if you change this host file, uh, let's change it to the host temp, which is this local file here, so the fake host file, where we don't need administrator rights to access it. Host temp and now I go ahead and double click the Python file again and now I should see Python w.exe in the processes as you see here. So you don't really see any output printed out but you can see maybe the results of this. So this is a host file which hasn't been added the domains in here because this says the working hours are between 4 and 7 p.m. now it's 2.38 so let's change this to 8 and 16 save the script and go and stop this process because this is running the old file and end process and I'll run again the file and check the host file and now you should see these four lines which have been added in here great now let me stop this 
and process. And here now we are able to run our Python file as a process in the background. Now let's go ahead and implement the scheduling part. So we want to run this program as soon as the computer starts. To do that, you want to go to task scheduler. Just there. And then create a base uh, create task. Put a name for the task. I'm calling this website blocker and configure for I'm on a Windows 7 so I'm gonna choose that so Windows 7 and one important thing to do is you want to check this run with highest privileges because if you don't do that uh, Windows will try to run the script from the normal user so you want uh, in our case we need administrative rights so check that and then go to triggers and then new so uh, begin the task. When do you want to run the program? Well, we want to run the program at startup. Well, they should be fine. Then go to actions and you want to create a new action. So what do you want to do? Well, we want to start a program. And normally you want to point to your program script, mm, which is this one here, website blocker.pyw. Open that. Okay, conditions, and you may want to uncheck this option. You also want to run the Python program when you're on a battery on a laptop. And yeah, we should be good to go now. Press OK and here is the website blocker task, which is ready to be run when the system starts up. So you may also want to disable it, but that's for another case. And yeah, now when you start your computer, the program should be running and your Python loop will, will run every five seconds and the Python program will, will check the host file and so on. And so you may want to test to, to start to restart your program now, or you can go here and test it by clicking run. Now the status is showing as running and you may want to check if the task is really running or not and it seems like it's not running so pythonw.exe is not here and the worst thing is that we don't even get any error now because the task, uh, the python process is running all the background and I know the reason why this is not running you know, if you see in the script now uh, you, you'll notice that I'm still trying to modify the a local host file whose path is being passed in here as a relative path so this is not an absolute path like like this one here and the problem with that is you know Windows is now executing this website blocker.pyw script is executing it from from another directory so it's not executing this from uh, the Dropbox PP uh, blog website demo uh, therefore, it cannot find uh, a file with this path. Therefore, the solution to this is to actually pass the full path of the file here. Because as we are now, Python is not trying to find this host file. So it's probably throwing an error that says uh, the host file does not exist. Mm, so let's go ahead and uh, I'll copy this directory, put it there and hosts. A backslash there and pass the R prefix so that you can escape special characters. Mm, save that and yeah, now go to the task scheduler and end this and try to run again. So it says running now, and let's see. And yeah, now this is running. So Python w.exe and you can also check the host file so the lines are there because it's between uh, 8 and 4 p.m. so it's 4 to 3 the time. And yeah, um, the final thing we want to do is stop this uh, very quickly and change this to the real path, host path and this as well 
save it and go to the task scheduler and end the current task so it's ready now and run it again mm, go to the processes python w.exe is there so it's running you may also want to check the host file which is in my notepad and it says uh, the file has been modified and yeah I can see the lines there, the four websites that I want to block. And maybe you're wondering why uh, th this first line is there, so it should be separated in here and be there, but the reason this line was up here was because the cursor was set to this point before executing the Python script. So you may want to set the cursor. So let me delete this. You may want to set the cursor in here before starting the Python program. So before implementing this program. Now I saved it and I now expect this file to be refreshed by Python again. So let me close that and open it again. And now, yeah, now sh this looks good. We have an empty line there, but that isn't a problem. So things will still work, even even with Facebook in here, like it was uh, earlier. Things should also work, and everything looks to be working fine. I now cannot access Facebook between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. And that's all about it. In the next lecture, I'm showing how to do the same. So how to run Python as a process in the background for Linux and Mac users. And that will end this section. So hope you enjoyed it and I hope you make the most of this program for your, your use, your daily use. If something isn't working there, just drop me a question or a message and yeah, I'll be happy to help you. Or even if you have questions regarding the script. So I know this has been uh, lots of indentation here and probably you get some errors there and probably that error is because of indentation. So be careful with indenting your lines. And yeah, I'll uh, close this now and I'll see you in the next lecture then. Thanks.